stability now i put as s s a okay so this one is your aero elastic effect on static stability okay this is the first part of collar diagram okay so this is called static aero elasticity which is involving aerodynamic force and elastic force and we have uh, four effect first one is load distribution second one divergence then control reversal then last one aero elastic effect on static stability now we have second type of aero elasticity that is called dynamic dynamic aero elasticity dynamic aero elasticity and as the name suggests this involves the in mutual interaction between aerodynamic force elastic force then inertia force okay this involves three forces aerodynamic force elastic force as well as inertia force and we have different types of dynamic aero elasticity first one is called flutter flutter this is uh, one of the famous effect capital f then second one is buffeting buffeting capital b third one is called dynamic response dynamic response put as capital z then similar to the static aero elasticity we have aero elastic effect on dynamic stability of the aircraft that is uh, aero elastic aero elastic effect on dynamic stability dynamic stability of the aircraft i put as t s a okay so i will draw the diagram here so this one is flutter f this involves elastic force aerodynamic force as well as inertia force okay f then we have buffeting b this involves aero aerodynamic force elastic force as well as the inertia force okay this is capital f that is flutter then we have dynamic response i put as capital z this also involves aerodynamic force elastic force then we have inertia force okay finally we have a dynamic aero elastic effect on dynamic uh, stability of aircraft that is dsa i put as uh, some other because i don't have space I put as x okay so x i don't have space here that's why i put as x it involves the three forces okay so we have the effect of um, aero dynamic force and elastic force that's called static aero elasticity and the effect of aerodynamic force elastic force as well as inertia force is called dynamic aero elasticity okay if the interaction between uh, if the interaction is between elastic force and inertia force then that is called your basic mechanical vibration or structural dynamics okay so v is nothing but your mechanical vibration or basically it is called structural dynamics okay mechanical vibrations okay that is nothing but interaction between elastic force and inertia force then we have one more interaction the interaction between aerodynamic force and inertia force and this interaction is called basically the flight dynamics okay this is nothing but your flight dynamics fd okay interaction between aerodynamic force and inertia force that is called the flight dynamics inertia force involves the acceleration okay and in the next lecture we will see more about static aero elasticity 
and in the upcoming lecture we'll see about dynamic aero elasticity so in this lecture we got the idea about different types of aero elasticity effect and also we have discussed about uh, interaction between different types of forces okay so that's all about this lecture thank you for listening take care